people. Right back at you. Got some sad news, but at the same time, it might be some good news. That fucking hippo tang and that powder brown, they both died today. Yeah, the motherfucker lasted a week exactly. That powder brown looked like he had motherfucking garlic salt all over his little ass. And the hippo, well, let's just say I gave him a fresh water dip. He got back in here. Swam around for a good hour. I came back. He was on his side. But he was filled with it. But kind of glad they out of here. Not that I wanted them to die or anything, but, you know, I couldn't couldn't keep doing that, man, with that egg. That's the last time. Yes, I said it. That's the last time I'm buying a hippo tank or anybody in that family. Yes, no more, no. It's a wrap. I can't deal with that egg. I stick with, you know, like my blue eye tangs right here, blue eye cold tang, the fox face, for y'all don't know, that's a tang. You know, I stick with them, man. You know what I mean? He might be out of here too, soon, too. Just, uh, thinking about turning this into a reef tank. Yeah, you heard. This thing might be coiled out in a minute. So he might have to get out of here. The trigger, uh, he may stay. He said that he's he's safe, but he's, you know, he may eat some of the uh, tentacles on the anemones, I guess. But I don't know. I might get rid of him also. But for the most part, you know, everything's all right in here now. Now that they going out, I have to keep worrying about, oh, I got to go down here, fresh water dip, or I got to keep an eye on all the other fish, make sure they ain't breaking out, or, uh, yeah, it was, it was a hassle. So I'm probably going to do about, you know, four more fish in this tank, and I'm going to call it quits. And I'm going to just let them rock out, because he going to get kind of big. He going to get about a good 11 inches. And he gonna get big. And the blue eye cold tank back there, he gonna get a nice size too. He gonna get around like a good 12 inches. So I really don't wanna put too many big fish in here. Too many fish is gonna get real big. I was thinking about schooling out the uh, green chromis right here. I was thinking about thinking about the cardinals, but I don't really wanna get too many real calm fish. Not too many more of them since I got the trigger. You know, the trigger may start going and getting a little aggressive in the puffer. But that was it for the uh, the hippo era. Yeah, you ain't got to worry about me and them hippos no more. They, mm, oof, oof, they scary. And I'm glad I got them for half price. Not that, you know, it was $60 down the drain for both of them, but it could have been $120. Yeah, I can't really, I can't, I can't deal with those hippos no more, man. That, that was too stressful, man. And that powder blue, man, they, whoo, that ick, that ick is something. That ick is like HIV to fish. I don't need to be comparing it to nothing like that. That's a serious thing, but, <laughs> hey, that's how it is in that fish world. I guess they got to, uh, I don't know if they got to strap up or whatever, but they got to do something, because that ick is, whoo. It attacks the immune system, so technically it is a form of AIDS for fish. So, you know, they AIDS, cancer, whatever one you want to pick. What's good, little homie? Everybody else doing good. The fox face don't have any, have any more spots on him. They all gone. They just ate. If you want to know why the fox is breathing like that, he just he probably got a mouthful of shrimp right now. That pretty yellow. But that's it for now. I just wanted to keep y'all up on that one. Actually, I did. I did bring the hippo back. The hippo came all the way back. Had him back with no spots, no nothing. Put him back in, here, man. It was a wreck. He was good for two days. Mm -hmm. Stuff just went ballistic. But, I have.